All right, good morning. It's uh, been 24 hour total soak time for these two knives AEBL 14C 28N. Rinse them off just so you can look at them. All right, here's the blade, and you can see just a tiny where the uh, See that ring there? That's where the line was sitting on there. But, uh, it wiped right off. Now there's a tiny bit of discoloration on the handle. And uh, what I think might be possible with this, because you see the blade. No discoloration at all. The blade up to here, when I got, took it and started the test, um, the salt test, I took a 30, you know, 80 grit belt and I cleaned all the scale off. And then I used a uh, medium grit Scotch Brite belt. Well, with the Tang, all I did was take the medium grit Scotch Brite belt. So I didn't get all the scale off. So I don't know if that's had any influence on that or not. But, it kind of leaves me to believe that it does, since there's no discoloration on the blade, and the blade was fully prepped. Right. So, here is the 14C 28N, and there's no discoloration on it. Now, the odd thing about the 14C 28N, I also did not... Uh, fully prep the handle on it, alright, so it got belt and scotch bright and then scotch bright on the uh, tang here, but there's no discoloration on it. Now 14C 20N is supposed to be a little more corrosion resistance than the AEBL because of the nitrogen in here. That's basically 13C 26, 14C 28N. All right, but with soaking them in salt and water for 36 hours, soaking them in acid for 24 hours, I would not have a problem right now using these knives um, in a marine environment. Uh, I think uh, that'd be about more than more than adequate. And I really do like the 14C Twin N and the ABL. I mean. It gets a nice hardness, takes a very fine edge, um, gets very sharp, holds the sharpness. It's just a good all around steel for kitchen knives, um, EDC knives, hunting knives. Alright, thank you.